My name is Ayuru, and this is our team. Today, we are going to be presenting our device called Rescue. Did you know that heat stroke is the leading cause of non crash related auto-fertility death in children under the age of 15? On average, 38 children and hundreds of pets die each year as a result of being trapped in hot people. More than half of those are under the age of 2. Children are more susceptible to heat stroke because their body heats up 3 to 5 times faster than an adult. When the body's core temperature exceeds 40 degrees Celsius, heat stroke symptoms can appear as a test, seizures, fainting, and not being able to walk. Most heat stroke deaths occur during the summer, but deaths will also happen in other seasons. Even on a relatively cool day, a park class interior can easily climb to a deadly temperature in less than 30 minutes. Now you might think that this can be easily solved just by opening your windows, but no, research confirms that a park class interior temperature rises just as quickly with the windows open or shut. This is the statistic of death of children and pets in hot weather. As you can see, the numbers are outrageous especially in 2018 and 2019. During these years, children and pets' death exit 90. Maybe just by showing the statistic is not enough to make you believe that the number of death is so high. However, this is unfortunately true because of something called forgotten baby syndrome. This syndrome happens when someone stressed not having enough sleep or just having a routine change and all of those leads to forgetting their child in a hot vehicle. I have even prepared legit news about it. I and mean, look at this. And this, and even this. There is a great case where 11 dogs died in just a day. That is so heartbreaking. So, to solve this problem, we invented Rescue, a portable life saving device. Now, you might be asking, what are the novelties of Rescue? First of all, Rescue is portable, which is the greatest feature that we offer. Some companies have done this built in into their cars. But that is not very practical. People want with thousands just for a new car that only has this feature. Besides, some people don't even like the brand. With Rescue, you can use it in any type of car that you want. Either your home car, office car, bus, van, and even taxis. Rescue is also easy to change between cars. Whenever you want to buy a new car, you can just use the existing Rescue. Rescue is also reasonably cheap. This makes it affordable for almost everyone. And that means more lives are being saved. Not only that, Rescue is also environmentally friendly. It uses solar energy to power it because we want to implement renewable energy into our product. For the brain of this device, we decided to use the Arduino Uno Rev3. This board is powerful enough to handle all the tasks that we need. For the sensors, we use three types of sensors, which are passive infrared sensor, sound sensor, and the TMP36 temperature sensor. The TMP36 temperature sensor is used to measure the temperature of the car. When the temperature of the car exceeds 37 degrees Celsius, the other two sensors will be activated. The passive infrared sensor is used to detect movement, while the sound sensor is used to sense noise. When the device detect a child or pet, it will immediately trigger an alarm. But as always, a single reminder is not enough. So, we decided to include a GSM shield to notify the parent or guardian via call and SMS. To power this device, we are using solar panels because we want to have renewable energy to our product. But you might be asking, why if there is no sun? Will it just stop working? Well, no. We also include rechargeable lithium ion batteries for backup. This battery could last for at least 24 hours without the sun. And Arduino is an open source microcontroller board that eases up the process of reading functions for the electronic system to code. The code that is used to program the Arduino is derived from a programming language known as C. Furthermore, we're using solar panels to power this device. We're using two of those because the GSM shield is a power hungry module. This solar panel can deliver up to 5 volts and 1000 milliamps of power which means the maximum power output is 5 watts. And for 2, that means we have 10 watts of power. That 
and it's more than enough that we need for this device. Finally, for the case, we're using a tree in the box. This box is specifically designed to fit all the components nicely without any space wasted. And that's all for the components. Please have a look at the schematic. Now, let's move on to the process of making this device. First, assemble the parts. Second, we coat. Then, design the case. After that, print it by using 3D printer. Now, let's have a look at the demonstration. As you can see, this is the code we are using for our device. Now, you might be asking, why is the temperature set to 37 degrees Celsius? Well, here's the answer to that. This is because the average temperature in Malaysia is around 32 degrees Celsius. In 10 minutes after the vehicle is parked, the temperature will rise by 10 degrees. As a safety precaution, we are using half of that value. So, we added 5 to 32 degrees, and that is how we got 37 degrees Celsius. You can check that out on your calculator later. But what if your country's average temperature is not 32 degrees? Well, for that, you just need to download the code using the link down below and just change this figure to your country's average temperature plus the number 5. Let's say your country's average temperature is 28 degrees. The number you must key in here is 33. Now, what if, you're, now, what if you want to change your phone number? Just like the temperature, you only need to change this figure. For more information, we've linked a tutorial in the description below on how to upload code to the Arduino. As you be very beneficial to the society, it could help save thousands of lives of children and cats all across the globe. It will also be accessible to everyone, even for us, friends, and taxi drivers who previously can't afford this feature. Thus, all lives are being saved. The use of solar panel, we've implemented renewable energy into our project. This effectively means that our device is incredibly environmentally friendly. Our device is also following two of the 70 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, which are affordable and clean energy and sustainable cities and communities. Rescue code achieve these on this. Rescue has a very high potential to be successful in the market. It is portable, reasonably cheap, and accessible to everyone. This means our device will attract users who don't want to change their car just for this feature. Everyone can use this device no matter what type of car and what brand they are using. Plus, this device is also reasonably cheap. The full cost of making this device is only 85 ringgit. Also, by using solar panel, this device will even attract more people. In the coming future, we plan to add a security camera to this device. This can help the user to monitor the whole situation in the car remotely. This can also make the process of detecting a child or pet much better and more efficient. We can also use an even more powerful processor such as a Raspberry Pi, so that we can create a software for this device. The software will make navigation become way easier than before. This will help prevent confusion for the users when changing the default temperature and changing the parent's phone number. And that's all for now. We hope that this device will be beneficial for people all across the globe. And thank you ever so much.